Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I spoke. I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have loosed my bonds. I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Does the Bible try to lift you out of your real life, your life in which pain is so pervasive that at times you can think of nothing except life's difficulties? Does the Bible try to bring you into a softer reality than the one you are immersed in? Does the Bible minimize or neglect adversity? Not at all. I suffered distress and anguish. I was brought low. Tears. Stumbling. Alarm. The Bible is filled with utter realism. The Bible does not teach that you are to get out of your pain and into God the way some other world religions might. The Bible teaches that God comes out of heaven and into your pain. We do not come to God on the other side of pain. God comes to us in our pain. Here's why. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. As a result, he meets us and delivers us. He may not remove the adversity. But he will keep and comfort the one who looks to him with a solace that transcends whatever is happening circumstantially all around him. We will then find ourselves wondering, what shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? And we today, looking back on this psalm in the 21st century, will have the deepest consolation possible. We will remember that the phrase, gracious is the Lord, went from abstract truth to concrete reality in the Incarnation. Then God really came out of heaven into our pain. Could he possibly have given us more reason to trust and love him?